Day 3 of the Majora's Mask 3D Randomizer. I don't think we're going to finish this today. But man, wouldn't it be so, th so thematic if we finished this in three days? I'm a little worried because I've been made aware that this version of the randomizer, this particular nightly build that I'm on, still has a potential bug where if I beat Gyorg while holding Gyorg's remains, the game might crash or softlock, so that's extremely unfortunate because that's the only boss that we now potentially have access to. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm gonna have to cross my fingers and hope, or else, well, I'll save before the boss just in case. Worst case scenario, I'll have to, uh, check the spoiler log for those three items that are locked behind being guy on. An absolute worst case scenario, we can't get them in something we need to beat the seed is on them. So, uh, that would be very bad, and I'm hoping that's not the case. Uh, let's see, where are we going? We now have the hook shot, which means the best thing for us to do is probably the, uh, probably the great base stuff. And if I remember correctly, I think the seahorse was inside the pirate's fortress. Magic doesn't reset when you reset time. I wonder if health does. I, I guess it wouldn't, would it? We can also do the, uh... Aside from the stuff that we have unlocked with Hookshot, the things that we have yet to do are the Bremen Mask check. No, we did the Bremen Mask. Uh... The Postman's thing, the Postman's game, and the witch who wants the blue st the blue mushroom stuff, that we haven't done. Well, now that we have the hookshot, we can get in here easier. However, I need to check the chests, because again, I think the seahorse was down here. If it's not, I will have to look up where I found it. There it is. I don't think there was a... No, there, this layout is just a little different. There wasn't a ramp over here. This was just like, uh, this was a little island. That tempered off into the water. I do miss having three, like, buttons with which to use and not having to use the touchscreen. Now granted, it would, be a, it would be more convenient on an actual 3DS. I guess, a little bit. shortcut not making you uh, not making you swim across to the other side of the uh, the exterior just to get in even the, even in the shortcut Hmm. 
I want three item slots. Man. I'm still missing both of my regular sword upgrades, but I got the Great Fairy Sword, so I'm good. If I got the second, the seventh bottle, I'd be able to do this all in one go. Actually, we know where it's at. It's on top of the, uh, it's on top of the swamp house. But, uh, we don't have the, we haven't found the title deed. And thus we can't get to it. I guess I would have one bottle taken up by a seahorse, regardless. Helpful tattle. That's new, that message didn't used to exist. I got this already. This was like the one chest in here that I could already get to. I gotta go up here again because there was an egg in the main room. Hello, Black Jay. How are you doing? Sorry if I sound tired. I, uh, I'm not tired. I just haven't used my voice yet today. Been playing Smash on Wickersham stream. And I don't know if we'll stream tomorrow. Jack is off, but it's also supposed to be very, very hot. Is that HD textures? No, this is the, uh, this is the game's original textures. I do have it upscaled. The resolution is like uh, three or four times the regular internal resolution. So if they just, uh, if they took the 3DS game as it was, stuck it on the Switch and upscaled it, this is about what it would look like. I considered getting a, a texture pack for this, but, uh, I don't know. A, I was lazy, and B, I kind of wanted to see it as it, uh, as it was. Granted, this isn't really as it was, because this isn't, you know, 240p. What a shame that, uh, what a shame that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, that those remakes are still stuck on the Wii U. Especially because they're apparently very, very expensive. Twilight Princess HD goes for like a hundred dollars or more. Uh, I'm not gonna VC during the stream, but, uh, Hello, welcome from the welcome from the Majora Discord. I haven't been in there too long, just long enough to get this set up. 
This is my first time playing Majora's Mask 3D, randomized or otherwise. Usually I do the uh, 64 randomizer. Obviously, they don't exist, but everyone has been wanting, like, uh, console remakes of uh, Ocarina and Majora since, well, ever. We got the 3DS ones. They were cool, but they're also a lower resolution than the original games on the N64, so... Full modern remakes would be just swell. They don't really make, uh, they don't really remake N64 games, though, for the most part. Or a lot of games prior to that. Probably because of Nintendo's Virtual Console and Virtual Console likes. They still have, uh, those games are small enough, N64 and earlier, that they can just put those on a VC and let people play the originals. I think the format of uh, the Virtual Console on Switch, which is to say the NSO subscription stuff, I think that kind of screwed our chances of getting GameCube on Switch. Because the Switch finally is a console that has enough storage space that if a player wanted to, they could download uh, GameCube games one at a time. They range from, like, 1 gig to 5 gigs, GameCube games. But they're too big for someone to uh, download a whole batch of them, like NSO does. We have remasters. Are you talking about the fan ones? I am I'm very happy that all this all these N64 games are now coming to a uh, they're now getting fan PC ports because of the tool that made it so easy. Those poor ship of Harkinian devs spent so much time on the uh, on the manual version of the Ocarina PC port. And it's amazing. I'm glad they did. It's a it's a great project. But hindsight is 2020. It would have been so much easier had this tool existed back then. I'm curious if they're still going to bother with the uh, full finishing the manual decompilation of Majora's Mask. Last I checked, they claimed they were, but uh, I am not well versed enough to know how much of a difference that makes. Aonuma was hinting at Ocarina 3 HD. I've heard that. I've heard Aonuma hinting about, like, everything. And I don't know how much stock I put in that. Uh, are those or just rupees down there? There's not a chest, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot I wasn't wearing my mask! All right, take two. Wrong door. Oh, come on. I think it would be smart for them to do an Ocarina HD. I mean, what other Zeldas are they going to remake? They could remake the 2D ones. I'm kind of blown away that Link to the Past hasn't been remade at all. Link's Awakening needed it more as a Game Boy game, granted, but... Uh, 
Link to the Past remake would be cool. I don't know how well it would sell. An Ocarina remake would sell gangbusters. But you know they would charge 60 or $70 for it and get way less than they could for it. I don't, that's not always true, though. The high effort Metroid Prime remake was $40. And the very basic Donkey Kong Country Returns port is $60. Because they know that people will pay $60 for Donkey Kong Country. And not for Metroid. Such is the unfortunate way of business. Got lucky in one of my scenes and got seeds and got stone mask early. I had, a, I had an amazing first stream of this. I got all three transformation masks. I think I got the stone mask in the first stream. I got so much stuff immediately, and then it all just dried up and stopped. And I spent the entire previous stream just looking for the hook shot. On the plus side, I have a lot less to check in this version. I'm used to playing the N64 one and having, like, all the standing rupees and everything scrambled. My other option for this year, I do a Majora randomizer every year and I try to do something a little different each time. The other thing I was considering doing was the uh, Ocarina Majora combined randomizer, but in Majora only mode, because that has an entrance randomizer. And I've never done that for Majora, and it sounds kind of scary. Having to juggle uh, keeping track of the time as well as all the entrances and what goes where, that would be a lot. Alright, I believe... That's everything in the Pirate's Fortress. Uh, Pirate's Fortress, Pirate's Fortress. Uh, interior upper chest. Interior hookshot room, Zora Egg. Well, we got all the Zora eggs. I guess those are future-proofing? I don't know why there's entries for the four Zora eggs. Uh, interior upper chest we still need to find. Would ask to race. No, I'm doing a... I'm, I'm doing my own stream. I'm trying to, uh... I record these and put them on YouTube, so I don't want to, like, interrupt it with, with something else. Someone on YouTube said that my randomizer streams are very relaxing to listen to, so thank you, person. I appreciate your comment. Exterior... Oh, it's up there, I think. There it is. I haven't done Ocarina 3D. There's a... There is an Ocarina 3D randomizer, isn't there? That's existed for a while, I believe. Maybe I'll do... I do a Majora every summer and Ocarina every winter. So maybe I'll do that this next year. How, uh, how involved is that? Is it about up to the, the features of the N64 Ocarina? 
I don't know what that's been up to. I haven't played the N64 version of that randomizer in so long. I've been doing all these wacky other stuffs, like the PC port and the, and the combined port. Maybe this is the year of the 3DS randomizers. I am very eager to play the uh, Majora PC port. Ship 2, Markinian 2, or whatever they ended up calling it. I'm hoping that has a randomizer finished by, uh, by this time next year. This seems to have been fixed in the 3D version. Dropping these in could be so finicky on the N64. Alright, back to Pinnacle Rock. I was hoping we wouldn't have to go twice, but uh, that's okay. It's not too much of a time sink. Actually, come to think of it, I didn't need the I didn't need the seahorse. I know the way. I play the port on my Wii U. The Majora PC port? That's Wii U compatible? That surprises me a little bit. I wonder. If I, I hear stories about the Wii U being more powerful, the Switch is that. I wonder if that's true. I have seen a fan mod of Breath of the Wild running at 60 FPS on the uh, on the Wii U. It isn't true. I wouldn't think so, but. I wonder what the status of Wii U em emulation is. I haven't checked. Taking the liberty of marking the route. Oh, on the on the map. Neat. All right, three eggs, and I don't remember where they were, so, uh... I'm just gonna have to do all the sea snakes again. Well, I guess I could, like, uh... I guess I can see from the outside which ones do and don't have them. Oh, the, uh, the Ocarina PC port runs badly on Wii U. Uh, Skyward Sword HD. I don't think I realized when I played it. Maybe I did. Uh, Skyward Sword HD went from 30 FPS on the Wii to 60 FPS on the Switch. Which might be the only official 60 FPS Zelda game? No, I think like Link Between Worlds was 60 FPS. It, they're very rare. We don't get them very often. And it definitely looks a little bizarre on the in Skyward Sword HD. I like it. I'm glad they did it. 
it's just weird to see you know what it is it's weird to see skyward sword at 60 fps after playing breath of the wild at 30 fps and tears of the kingdom i think tears is still 30. to both at the bottom. I must I must have missed one. Yeah, one of them hadn't hadn't loaded in. Tears can be bumped from 30 to 60? Like, on the original console on the Switch? Not talking about emulation. That is something Nintendo does sometimes, is that they have uh, inconsistent frame rates on their games. Actually, come to think of it, I think the Paper Mario remake went from 60 on the GameCube to 30 on the Switch. I think the frame rate went down for the remake. I don't remember what these are, so I guess I'll get them. Maybe they're some rupees I could use. I have a thousand in the bank. Given that I still haven't gotten the third reward, I am going to guess the third reward is still 5,000 rupees. for a nice egg in these trying times. Oh, I'm out of magic. Whoa. Uh they give you a, a more obvious place to stand and do that than on the N64. You could do that on the N64. That was the way I always did it as a kid, because I didn't know about the magic barrier. I just, I, I don't know, I just never tried pressing that button. Oh, I should have just gone down the line. Am I this blind? How am I missing this egg? Every Smash game is at 60 FPS. And that's kind of crazy to think that an N64 game was 60 FPS. There it is. Seven Zora eggs. One of the worst things to do in the randomizer. I 
I hate getting all se I hate being made to get all seven Zora eggs. I hate having to do the Don Garo the frog quest. Which we might have to do. Once we uh once we have access to Great Bay Temple, we'll have access to all four frogs. collection in Wind Waker for my achievements playthrough. I thought that I would have to, uh... I thought that I would have to do a, a New Game Plus to get all of them, but I think it's possible to do them all in one playthrough. say new wave. Are you talking about like the British new wave? Like the new wave of rock? Had, had, what, what's the frame of reference for that in Termina? Why is this song called that? Yes, I know wave. It's a water pun, but... You know what it is? It was probably in... The Zelda universe, the new wave was started by uh, the Beatles, a band formed by a beetle. That's that's got to be it. All right, well that has been acquired, so now no time like the present. Oh, I won't be able to complete this dungeon unless I get ice arrows, though. That's the one arrow that I'm still missing. We may still not be able to do this dungeon. still gonna go because they might be in there. There might be a variety of useful items in here. the ledge chest, or the ledge item. And 
Not gonna worry about the fairies because I don't have the, uh, I still don't have the great fairy mask. Oh, you moved. You're on top of the rupees now. Alright, bye. See ya. Time to learn what, if anything, was changed in Great Bay Temple. Oh, they added little textures to show you which way to turn the thing. There are lots of little improvements in this version. Do my weird stasis swim. I feel like a character is like moving around in a T-pose. In an unfinished video game, doing that. No, face this way. Stop Z-targeting! This is new. Making you walk across the pipes like this. I guess this is to draw your attention to them? Which the original did not do very well. There's a fairy in that barrel. Don't think there's any particular chests yet. I saw. I, I saw your message. Go down, please. Oh, no. I'm feeling the swimming now. The swimming is going to make this dungeon way worse. It's not so bad on a static map, but the way it controls in, like, currents is way different. This requires a key, and I don't remember if I've found any keys for Great Bay yet. I probably have found at least one. Oh, uh, this is the warp room, isn't it? Oh boy. How is this going to run on an emulated Citra? No, this isn't Ward. This is a uh, Gecko. Because I'm getting magic arrows. Wait! Oh no! I don't have the ice arrows! I can't do this! Oh, okay, no. We're, we're, this is Ward. We're good. Okay. Uh, what do I want to equip for this? I do have the cheese that I always use. I do have that available. So I guess I should just do it this normal way. Alright. I don't have a C stick. You're you're gonna they're gonna make me get my uh my picto box out to look at this dude. All right, here go the frames. Mm. 
You know what? It's doing it better than the N64 game did. It's holding up. Barely. Also, despite the blast mask being set to infinite, or to uh, instant, these bubbles are still managing to interrupt the, uh, my ability to detonate it. It's really cheesy, but I don't care. This boss sucks. I hate Wart. Having slow arrows and a half-functioning camera also does not help. Alright, what do I get? I believe in the original game this was the Ice Arrows chest. It's Twin Mold Remains! Okay! We have two of the of the five things we need. And we know the locations of one of the five, because the oath to order is in its vanilla location, meaning I just have to beat any dungeon to get that one. That was a good thing to get, but it's not progression. That that's not gonna help me get anywhere new. Uh, I can't get over there. Without ice arrows. So depending on what's in this final room, our Great Bay Adventure may end early. Is that the one I went in? I went in the top one. I need to go in the bottom one. No, I want the bottom one. I need to go to the top one. Alright, here's this room. With its sparkly ice, uh, ice arrow spots. I wonder if the I'll bet the I'll bet the transformation glitch doesn't work in this anymore. The one where I can go up to a, a like a higher ledge by turning into a Zora wall in the water. A stone tower key. Not that it matters because they raised that particular ledge. They raised both of these. And I would, even if I could get up to that one, I would need ice arrows anyway. So, that's a moot point. What's in here? It's this room. Which, this has a chest if I kill all these guys, I believe. Where'd they go? I think, did the other two just despawn? Oh, 
chests in here. Don't mind me. Oh, mirror shield. Does that get me anything? I don't know if that gets me any checks before I can access Ikana. I think I still need to access Ikana before that's useful. And this is... The dungeon map for Woodfall. Useless. Is that all of my checks in Great Bay that I can do? I can't get over there because I don't have the ice arrows. Not intentionally, anyway. Unless they, uh... There is a way in N64 to, uh... Do, like, uh... I'd do a bomb jump. To get to that room without fighting the boss. I'd do that for the, uh, three-day challenge. That might be all we can do in Great Bay. Until we have either ice arrows, or, uh... Well, until we have ice arrows, yeah. Oh, no. No! I didn't want to go here. That was significantly more whelming than I thought. I thought we would be able to do more in Great Bay. So having Gyorg's remains does not allow me to access the boss warp, so that's not going to help. I guess guys, we'll just go home. What else can we do? It's a postman's game. There's the uh, the ledge. I want to get beans, so I need to go to the I need to go to the swamp. No, not Woodfall. I thought we had a bunch of stuff we could do, but we kind of don't. Uh, we ju we just did it all. We're back to little piddly checks that I've been avoiding. We can't complete the Anjun Cafe quest until we have, uh... Until we have, uh, access to Ikana. Although, it would probably be worth starting. Because, uh... That's Sphere 1. I could have done, like, the room key at any time, and I just didn't. So it's possible that there's, like, a good item waiting there that the game expected me to get a lot earlier. I should, uh, I, sh I should do the Anjun Cafe as much of it as I can, and the, uh, Postman's game. Wait, nope, hold on. I need to get the, uh, I need to get the Scarecrow song. Oh, I have the... Because I have the hookshot, I can now access the uh, Scarecrow ledge item in uh, Snowhead as well. That area.
I don't know how to do my normal Scarecrow song on these buttons, so I, I just won't. We should definitely get the two Scarecrow items while we have him, because I believe you have to do that every cycle if you want access to the Scarecrow. Uh, we have the hook shot, so technically we could do the spider houses now. It's another thing that I generally avoid if possible. Oh, in the the beaver races. Actually, I should go there right after this. Oh, I should do the scarecrow thing since I have him. But uh, I need to do the I need to go to the ledges here in Great Bay because those have a bunch of items. This is just a cow grotto, I believe. I don't think there's a chest in here. Yeah, it's just cows. Moo. Here we go. Bean. Oh, I got a new little uh, animation for the Scarecrow song. It's a blue rupee. Man! Grab, grab Scarecrow. Well, that wasn't worth it. I wonder if I could have peeked that. I wonder if there's a way that I could have just, like, seen that that's what that was. Oh, hello. I, it's not impossible that we could get all this stuff. Well, no, we still need to finish one dungeon for the Oath to Order.
this game badly needed night music. Man, I could have just looked out there. I just never, like, panned the camera to that ledge. Well, that's three remains down. We still need- we need to find one more, and we need to do a dungeon for the Oath to Order. Let's go check the Great Bay Ledges. Then we'll try Anjun Cafe. I guess the Spider Houses, if we have to resort to that. Postman's Game, Anjun Cafe, Spider Houses. Hold on, I just remembered something. There's an underwater chest on this map. There you are. Watch, it's gonna be the fourth remains. We're gonna find all the remains and we're just gonna spend the rest of the time looking for whatever arbitrary things we need to actually clear a dungeon and get the oath to order. on these ledges that'll be items. And then the beaver race has two items. Unless that's changed on 3DS. There was a bottle and a heart piece. Which unfortunately required two beaver races on the N64. Uh, four beaver races. Hey, we got a sword upgrade. Not necessary, but nice. This was changed from a series of leaves to a branch, I see, to make it more obvious that it is walk onable. No, don't fall, jump! Man. Postman's game is from 3 to 6, so that's our time frame for that. jump from here. Will this work? Thank you, game. Gotta climb these dumb trees three times for this. 
All right, what are you? It's a heart piece. Well, I got the sword, so that's nice. I hate not having a C-stick. Oh man, I wish I had a C-stick. I could sacrifice one of my item buttons for the Picto Box, I think. I think I could do that if I wanted to. Do they really just not use the D-pad for anything in this game? Is it like an optional movement? Like, is it is optionally usable for movement on the 3DS, or did they just not assign anything to it? Because, man, having items on the D-pad is one of the best additions of these randomizers and fan hacks. It's so nice to just have the masks and ocarina available at all times. chests on this map, is there? I mean, there's not on N64, but... Again. They didn't fix that. That's bizarre that they didn't bother to fix the, the issue of the beaver recognizing you on your first meeting. I thought for sure that would be one of the things that they would address. Now, am I going to need to use magic for this? Are there still any rings, like, above the water that I need to breach to go through? He seems to be going at a pretty leisurely pace. You know what, I really don't want to do this four times if I don't have to, so I may... I may just look up the beavers to see if they changed this in 3DS. I'm pretty sure he always just goes slightly faster than you, so even if I used magic to go full speed, he would still be ahead of me. But it was not necessary. Majora's Mask Beavers. Beaver Brothers. There's no mention of changes in the 3DS version. Which is disappointing, but this is two items, so it's worth doing.
I guess this is more in line with Goron rolling, and that it takes magic to go fast, but man... I don't want to have to manage my magic while I'm swimming. Also, it's way harder to, like, aim at jars while doing this. If I'm supposed to do that, I don't know if I am. Okay, good, I can still breach. They didn't take that away from us. Does this version require magic? Can I do this without using magic? Because I know they're not going to refill me between races. This one might require magic. It's hard to tell. Oh, go through. Uh, okay. Well, that's where the bomber's notebook was. Oh, you know, I think I just realized. Press start to read it. I just had my start button taken away from me. I've been pressing that to get to my item screen. Alright, well let's see, uh, I, I guess let's do that again and get whatever their second item is. even try to disincentivize you from doing this again. There's like, no, oh, well, we don't have any more things to give you. Oh, come on. I swear I'm good at this game. I swear that's never happened. Oh, and it doesn't even send the magic straight to you. It drops it on the ground. Oh, uh, this swimming was not thought through. It's my fault. I could have fixed this. There was a setting to fix this. I could have made it like the N64 and I chose not to. Alright. Maybe the first beaver is so bad that I can still do this. Maybe this is still possible. I shouldn't have gotten away with that. I shouldn't have still been able to win after that... that awful start. Okay, it's the same time limit, so it's not actually any tighter for the older brother. There's just more rings to hit. Man! Please? Please? Well, if it's the same time limit, then that means I still don't have to worry about the timer, even after that gaff. Although, going through those ones on the surface would definitely be easier if I had any magic, but they're not going to give me more magic. And I would have to, like, stop and land and punch a jar in order to effectively get more.
This was my original vision for Zora swimming. Yeah, sure it was, Alnuma. We wanted to go slow on the N64, but we just didn't have the technology. So we had to make swimming fast. You know what that reminds me of is how uh, they only... They only made the controls for Mario Kart DS so tight because they felt like they had to. Given that the DS was limited to a D-pad. And that's the only reason that uh, snaking exists in that Mario Kart game and no others. I mean, it exists in others, but not to, like, nearly the same degree. Okay, okay, it is exactly as I thought it was going to be. We now have all four remains. The only thing we're missing is the Oath to Order. We have to find whatever items we're missing. We have to find a way to clear a dungeon. And I believe the only boss key that we have is for Great Bay, which we can't do because we're missing the ice arrows. Maybe we will finish this today. It's conceivable. That also means that every single boss in the game is at risk of that soft lock that I mentioned earlier, though. Uh, Clock Town. Let's do the let's do the postman's game. And now I gotta figure out what button I can press to access my. I'm gonna have to use the touch screen to access my inventory. Alright, postman. Where's my wabbit hood? There we go. Yes, I'm gonna do this because I don't want to wait one single hour. Because I can, in this version. What do you mean? It is 3 p- oh, it's 3 a.m.? Wait, no, it's not. What do you mean, out till 3 p... It's 3 p.m. Four p.m.? Is he late on the second day? on mail run 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Is this a bug? I'm so confused. Stop Fortnite dancing! Maybe if I leave the map and come back? That shouldn't be the case. Uh, 5 p.m. You don't play with the game with them after 6, do you? I thought it was 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. was the uh, postman's window. Postman's game. Enter the postman's residence between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. on the first or second day. Well, it is now 6 p.m. on the second day. I, I don't get it. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. 
So I guess I'll go. I'll, I'll guess I'll just go do Anju. in open from 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. on the first and second day I could try on the first day maybe the second day was the pro I all my information is conflicting and I am confused I believe the stockpot in getting the room key is like uh, 2 p.m. Actually, I don't have Cafe's mask, so I can't do much. I can only get the room key check, come to think of it. I keep thinking I can do things, and then I can't. That's right, this was a change in the 3DS version. You have to be wearing the Goron mask when you talk to her because she's expecting a, re a reservation for a Goron. Hello, Darian. Uh, I'm very confused because nothing is happening like it should be happening. Okay, there's Anju. There's sad Anju with her sad meal. for Grandma, who's not sad, because she's got a, chi a tiger wheelchair. I'm trying to figure out the postman's game, but he's not in the post office when the wookie says he's in the post office. Uh, what's the atrhythm? The, the Kingdom Hearts thing? The rhythm game? Oh, the Final Fantasy one. Okay, that was my next guess. The art style in that game did not look appealing to me. Alright, she gets a letter from the postman. Hey, can I talk to you? Hold on. Is he in my, uh... Is he in my book? My bingo book? The Postman's Peril. Well, no. I need to know when his game is. When, when can I play with the bunny hood? Hello, I am Link the Goron. A that's actually not... That's not a lie. That's true. I am Three Dink the Goron. And you have the Mountain Title Deed.
Uh, so, in the time that you were gone, we found all of the remaining remains. We have all four remains in our possession. The problem is, we don't have the Oath to Order, and that's in its vanilla location. So, we're stuck until we find a way to clear any dungeon. We just need to clear one of them. Uh, what was I just doing? I just got the mountain title deed, so I need to go to Zora Cape. There was one in the... I think Wart was guarding one. One was on the ledge, the Scarecrow ledge, in Snowhead. And one of them was the second beaver race reward. Out of the way. I got property to sell. Is this your room? Uh, I need to be a Goron. Alright, here's your deed. Also, actually, that's two items. I can give that to the toilet hand. That's the first, uh, that's the first paper item that I found. Alright, postman's hat. That's a check. We're getting little trickles of checks that we can try. And, oh! Oh! On the chest, on the, on the ledge, I see them. I see the ice arrows. We might be good. Unfortunately, I reset time, so I gotta do the, uh... I gotta do the, the, the portion of Great Bay that I did over again. So, we could beat Great Bay and we could finish this. The only obstacle is if I happen to be blocked by, uh... If I happen to be blocked by not having enough keys. I don't remember how many keys Great Bay needs. Nor how many I have. This could be it. This could end up being a way short. I started the stream with one remains and the, like no leads. We had a sandwich of like a great progress stream and then a terrible progress stream, and now we just found everything all at once. Alright, yes, hello. I have not saved your kids, but I'm going to play you the song as if I have saved your kids. Your children are born and safe, I promise. You can trust me. I am a fellow Zora. That cutscene's removed, I guess, from the randomizer. I enabled as many cutscenes as it would allow me to, but I guess it just innately disables the uh, turtle conversation. Alright, Great Bay, take two. He swims normally on the surface of the water, but if you go down just a little bit... Oh wait, no, this is still active. Does it save temple progress? I don't think even the... I don't think even if you have all the settings to, like, keep dungeon keys and everything... I don't think any other version of this randomizer does that.
Hello, comrade. What do you have for me? Unfortunately, this is the worst temple to have to clear because no matter what you have, there's no shortcut. You have to activate all the pipes in order to get to uh, in order to get to the end. Oh, that's right. I can't use. I can't press start anymore to get to my items. Uh, ice arrows. Ice arrows. There's ice arrows. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any arrows, man. And that's not arrows. That's a fairy. I'm. I feel confident we can finish this today now. Now that we got, well, everything. Are there arrows over there? Maybe. No! You know I'm gonna need arrows in this room, game devs. Why are there not arrows in this room? Alright. Uh, down here. This goes to the room that I need to... Uh... Do you have arrows? Are there arrows in your body? No. There's some jars in this room. This version of this game, specifically this version is really, really bad about giving you the items that you need in the rooms that you need them. That wasn't a problem with the N64 one. They were always there. They removed item pickups for a lot of these rooms. And I don't understand why. Nope, don't want to waste magic. There we go. It's it's going to suck if I have to uh, if I have to put this on hold for a second time and go hunting all over the game for a small key that I'm missing. I am fairly certain I have the boss key. I'm pretty sure this is like the one boss key that we found was Great Bay. I'm really hoping I'm not misremembering that. I have arrows now, so I guess I should go back up here before I proceed. This room has a thing in it. It has a chest up there, but that's a fairy chest, so I don't need to worry about that. But my hookshot, I do have my hookshot out. These are unnecessary ice arrow targets. No, let me down. This does, I guess, makes it more obvious that you would, like, want to go over there to get to the ceiling.
Is there a Tabresco in here? I feel like there is, but I don't remember for sure. Yeah, he's down there. That's fine, I got, I got my magic shield. I've never actually been attacked by a Debresco. I've always looked at it and said, shit, that's scary, and killed it immediately. So I, I have no idea what its attack actually looks like. Camera. Camera, please. Okay. Uh... There is the... I could do the gecko fight for an item. But I don't know that I need to because there's not a... Uh, there's not a water valve in that room. It's just an item. So hopefully I won't need to go there. Funny how often the razor sword appears in promotional artwork, does it? I believe you, I just I haven't I guess I've never seen it. Ah, oh, what? Well what's the point of that ledge if I can't jump to it? I have to be able to jump to it. Because I they want me to jump up to this one. It was just a weird misjump, I guess. No, no, stay up. Link, please. Yes, tank the explosion. Push the valve, valve pusher. Stock up on stuff. Stuff is nice. Because this dungeon is not giving me stuff. Yeah, give them arrows. And the brain damage. And the brain damage. And the brain damage. I already made that joke. I don't care. Brain damage is my favorite Zelda mechanic. So it seems like I can only do the weird T-pose swim at the, at, like, ground level. Yeah, look at him go. I don't think there's a single piece of art of him using the Gilded Sword. That's a little surprising, but also not surprising because the Gilded Sword doesn't look great. I guess I should do this since I'm here. If it was Wart, I might not, but this is Gecko. He's easy, easy to fight. Don't forget, fire arrows exist too. Kind of weird that this room is, like, all iced over, considering the boss fight has, like, nothing to do with ice. Other than you using ice, but... fast enough. I'm so unconcerned with taking damage because this is a mostly vanilla Zelda game.
Fighting the camera. Camera is my opponent. Go down, frog. I probably should get the frog after this, just in case. Boy, I am glad that there is a very low probability that I will have to do the frog quest, though. Okay, I'm trying to be conservative with my magic, but this dude's annoying. Also, there's actually plenty of magic in this room, so I probably don't need to be. I hope we never have to meet again. Oh, I can't even do this in, in, unless I can beat the, uh... Unless I can bring Spring to the mountains. So this is a moot point regardless. This is just a whole playthrough of me thinking I can do things, but I can't. Alright, not the boss key. It is the compass for Great Bay. Alright, get out of the water. Now all the, all the red pipes are flowing, so we can go change the direction. And not go into any rooms we don't want to go in. Just straight up to the surface. Alright, there we go. That's not changed. He still does the dive animation if you're uh, if you're over water. I guess there's no way around that. It's not even really a problem. All right, red is now going. Nice soft water. Do you guys think this dungeon is too hard to wrap your head around? Like the original version of it on the N64. I think setting aside whether people looked it up or not. Like there's a way to do it. I, I You could say it's user error, you know, get good. Because you're supposed to uh, notice that the pipes are not flowing water and follow the pipes to the various destinations that you need to activate the valves to turn them on. I bet a lot of people never noticed the pipes, though. I never did. I realized that that was the intent of the dungeon on, like, my third playthrough of this game. Probably a lot of people just fumbled around going to wherever they could go that they hadn't yet. And did a lot of backtracking as a result of that fact. If you notice how the dungeon functions... Like, if you understand the dungeon, then you will never have to backtrack, unlike the, uh, unlike the Water Temple. So at least there's that. Oh, this is this room. Wait... 
Oh, I didn't need to go here. I was just trying to get to the place with the boss key. No, I still need to go here, because there's still, like, another valve that I have to activate. I'm in the right spot. Real question is, do people prefer this over the water temple? You know, I hear it back and forth, but mostly yes. I think mostly people choose this as, like, the less offensive of the two. Because, again, you're not required to backtrack. If you fuck up, you'll have to backtrack, but, you know. At least that's your fault. Not the fault of the dungeon design. Also, you're not using the... The Zora Mask as a sea item which already eliminates the big complaint of the of the water boots. The water boots, the iron boots in the original, not being a sea item. What am I doing? I already have the hookshot out. This is just a this is just a fairy anyway. This moved. This was not the original location of this fairy. I think this is also different. The platforms always stop in the same place every time as opposed to uh, in the original game. They could vary depending on when you stopped the... when you started and stopped this water wheel. So now if I do this, it should always stop so that such that it's... well, it would always stop such that it's flat in the original. Maybe it had, that like, two positions? Because that platform would not always be in the same place. Actually, I guess it wasn't always in the same place, because it just stopped in a different place. I just got lucky. Never mind. It works exactly the same as it always did. Not worrying about fairies, because I don't have the great fairies mask. And we, as far as we have reason to believe, I shouldn't need to worry about anything else other than completing this dungeon. If we can complete this dungeon, if we can beat the boss, man, we're not going to see all the fucked up bosses. We're only going to see Gyorg. What a shame. What a travesty. We won't see Twin Mold. We won't see Odalwa. I think Odalwa is the worst, is, is the biggest loss. The fact that he's now like a puzzle boss with a very specific sequence of events to beat him. As opposed to just being a big dude with a sword that you could approach in a variety of ways. Alright, that's active. That's, that's all we need. This feels stubby. This razor sword. This feels shorter than the original, for sure. I'm pretty sure in the original the razor sword was a slight uh, size increase. Now I'm going to the bottom. Yeah. Uh, I hope there's a place to save just before the boss. If not, then I'll have to go back to the uh, entrance of the dungeon, and that will be annoying. Because, as I mentioned at the start of this stream, there is, unfortunately, a glitch in this nightly build of the randomizer. Where it is very possible that we will end up with a, uh, a softlock or a crash if we beat Gyorg. While holding Gyorg's remains. There's no save point. So, unfortunately... save.
I gotta go through that whole big entrance room again. Where's the save point? There's the save point. Alright, we're saved. And my strategy is to cross my fingers and pray that we don't encounter that, uh, that crash or soft lock. If we do... Uh... I don't know what we do about it. Like, we could attempt a different boss. We could keep playing until we have access to a different uh, dungeon boss, but there's no reason to believe it wouldn't also just happen there. Said this before, I think. Well, I say this as someone who doesn't like Zelda dungeons, period, but in particular, every Zelda game's water dungeon is usually not very fun. Wind Waker had the Tower of the Gods, which the fortunately the only water part was the first half of the dungeon. I'm so glad I correctly remembered having this boss key. That was annoying just because it involved a lot of waiting for the water level to uh, rise and fall at its own pace. Twilight Princess had the water temple again. But I don't remember what the gimmick of that dungeon was. I think that was the claw shot dungeon? Alright, there he is. There's Gyorg with his big, stupid, obvious, weak spot eye in his mouth. I don't remember how to fight this boss in this version, so I'm just gonna be, uh... I'm gonna be doing my best. Okay, I have bow. In the original, the general practice was to uh, fight, hit him with your bow. Then when he's stunned, you go in for the, the Zora kill. Is he down? Nope, he is not down. In Twin Mold's case, they split the fight into two parts. There's like a normal sized part and a uh, giant part. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe there's, maybe there's a human part and a Zora part. Hello? Where do you go? Well, he's not much of a threat so far. In fact, he's not really any of a threat so far. It's like shooting fish in a barrel-shaped room. Okay, there's the, there's the big obvious eye, so I guess I should probably go out and... Uh, shot it with arrows. Hello? Oh, hello. Ow. He has a he has a land body slam attack now. That's new. Can't, also can't Z target him. They have uh, they have taken that ability away from me. Probably just shoot him in his stupid eye. And not resort to Zora form at all. We we'll take extra arrows though.
Yo, I'm here, big guy. The water splashing up onto the platform is a little weird. That's new. a little tedious. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm making it more tedious. shorter opportunities to hit him with an arrow now. He's surfacing for a shorter length of time. Are we down to the Zora part? No? Okay, we are. Well, you'd think he would have just done that from the start of the fight. Can I can I swim fast? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's what's going on. I gotta, I got like, lure them into mines, I guess. Okay, no, I gotta break these while he does his suck. I got more arrows. Go down, please. Do your suck. Come on. Well, this is more of a boss fight. I can't say it's any more fun than the original. No? I, I, I thought I broke it. Did I blow it up by accident? That's arrows. I need, uh... I need magic. Why are there so many arrow chests underwater? I can't use arrows underwater. Alright, are you gonna do your thing now? I don't know how to get him to suck. Come here. He just keeps spitting fish at me. Finally. Okay. Well, that took way too long. No. Do the thing, please. Why won't he do the... Am I out of magic? I'm out of magic. God damn it. More magic jars. I don't even know if these respawn. Boy, I hope they do.
shield didn't help at all. I keep... Okay, because when he swims, he wants to go up. I keep accidentally detonating the mines that I'm trying to send at him. Also, the fish make boo noises for some reason. I was gonna use that! Yeah, I don't like this. I'm not having fun. I just, I just want to point that out in case it's not obvious. This boss fight does not spark joy. Y'all got any hearts? I hit the bomb. Now I gotta start the whole thing over. Oh, you're making me start from here? You have witnessed... Wait, hold on. Now that I've been in the boss room, and that I'm holding his remains, now I can use the warp? Or does that just activate once you've, like, fought him once? Did they just give you a shortcut back to the boss, maybe? Well, I still only have three hearts, so... Uh, that didn't help. I probably should have gone back and restocked somewhere before I came in here. So here goes nothing. If I die again, then I guess, I don't know, I'll, I'll go out and... Go out and get some fairies. Is there a faster way of doing this phase? Because this takes forever. Maybe he's vulnerable to ice arrows? Me doing that? Alright, let's try ice arrows. No, that hit the water. Wait, hold on. I can freeze any of the water in this room? I don't require sparkles here, it's just everywhere else in the game I require sparkles. I had the Megaton Hammer. I would punish him so hard for coming up on this platform. Quick, dodge the fish by jumping in the water.
Can I hit him now? No. I don't have enough time to aim. I like how his fins are like little metal fish hands. Yeah, bring your stupid eye out. Well, it's a good thing these conveniently appear in the boss arena. If I had to depend on my own efforts, I'd never be able to clear this phase. Alright, where is he? There he is. No, oh, you're going over there now? Still blowing up the mines. Still forgetting buttons. Okay. I think there's an egg, because the, the mines start to, like, move towards him once he starts to suck. So I think if I get him to start... There's like an angle that I can use to hit the hit the the ice and not the mines. Maybe I'm is this what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to use my boomerangs, maybe? I think that's the trick. I think that that's what I haven't been doing. I need you to suck, please. Hello? Suck, please. Go down! I want to see the soft lock. I can't wait for all of this to be completely, like, fruitless. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't great. I didn't like any of that. There it is. There's the crash. So, now the question is... Do we just count this as done? Or do we keep trying? 
gonna have to I'm gonna have to reset. I knew it was likely. I knew I knew there was a good chance this was gonna happen. The thing is that the other boss keys could be anywhere. And as far as I know, we've encountered one of the we've we encountered something like this before where there was a bug with the uh, Ocarina PC port that made a run uncompletable. That had an inventory editor. That had some cheats that we could use to get around this. I don't know if there's any way that we can get around this. It's not even I can't even stop the emulation. It's not responding. Unfortunately, I can't up update it in the middle of a file. Otherwise, I would have updated it to prevent this. But uh, I guess all we can do now is look around at uh, what else is available. I'm not happy about it. Yes, I need to leave. Hello. Unfortunately, it's probably still going to happen with any other dungeon we do, so, uh... I don't really see a solution. The only way for us to get the Oath to Order is to complete a dungeon, and because we have all four remains, there is no dungeon that we can safely complete. Is there anything else we can do? I would have liked to finish this by fighting Majora, as is tradition, but uh, I, I don't think it, I don't think that's going to be possible. So I think I'm just going to have to call it here for today. This might be the unfortunate end of our Majora's Mask 3DS randomizer. If I can find a way around this, maybe I'll see if there's like a cheats menu I can activate and I can get uh, the Oath to Order into my inventory. If there's a way that I can do that, then maybe there's still hope that I can come back and do, like, a recording of the Majora fight. That's the only thing that I can think of. But, uh, short of that happening... We did get all the go items. We got all that would be necessary for completing the game. So, in a way, we did complete it. I'll do what I can to see if we can get a proper finale. But, uh, if not, thank you anyway for sticking around with the Majora 3DS randomizer. It was fun despite this unfortunate bug. Maybe you'll see me again for 30 minutes. Probably we'll stream with Jack tomorrow and uh, Sunday. We'll see how we're feeling, how the weather is. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.